Welcome to our Markov Chains activity. We start our activity by giving an example. We have tea drinkers and coffee drinkers. Each day 30% of the tea drinkers switch to coffee and 20% of the coffee drinkers switch to tea. We go through and figure out how many tea drinkers there would be in a few days if we start with 120 people drinking tea and 80 people drinking coffee. We can solve this purely algebraically, of course, but we set up some matrices. Here we have our transition matrix, is named P, and two of our state vectors. We go on to explain that each day, we just apply our transition matrix to the day before. To figure out day two, we'll have 90 tea drinkers. What about our five days, or 20 days? Well, we're going to raise P to the power of whatever day we need. So we're going to need to store p as a variable in order to do this nicely and efficiently. Let's go to our class pad and try to go to main. Main can be reached here. Or if we happen to be anywhere else, we can find it on the hard key panel here to bring us straight to main. To build a matrix, we have to open our keyboard, go to the 2D tab, go to the calc tab, 2x2 two two matrix, and we see a blank matrix here. I will paste in the stored matrix. Now we want to store this as the letter P, and so I'll have to hit the store button. Then go to the ABC keyboard and find my P. DXE, and we have that stored. Now we can raise P to the desired power. I can drag and drop P, raise it to the fifth power to figure out day 5, multiply it by our initial vector of 120 over 80, so you get about 81 people drinking tea after day 5. And we can just change this to a 20 to see after 20 days, of about 80 people drinking tea. We go on and change our initial conditions to starting with 80 people drinking tea and 120 people drinking coffee. We then have another exercise where they have to set up their new transition matrix and their new initial conditions.